these young no people have been in sales each of them has costed the government cost 20 million shilling on food food alone and yet they are consuming also space Chira Municipality Member of Parliament, Horrible Semu Junganda's concerns about President Museveni's absence from international meetings have sparked a heated debate. Semu Junganda, uh, while in Parliament recently, pointed out that uh, President Museveni missed the United Nations General Assembly. Uh, he also missed another meeting in China and now the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting Chogam in Samoa. And instead, he's been sending representatives like the Vice President, Her Excellency Jessica Alupo. This led Horrible Semu Junganda to speculate about President Museveni's health, suggesting that he should undergo a medical checkup, considering his age and the sudden inability to attend meetings he traditionally participated in. However, the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk, countered this concern emphasizing the benefits of having a deputy to delegate responsibilities just like she has the deputy speaker of parliament right horrible thomas tayewa leading plenary sessions horrible anita monk also highlighted the option of virtual participation citing janet kataha's online engagement as an example meanwhile this raises questions about the president's health uh, the effectiveness of delegation and the role of technology in international diplomacy. Well, away from that, uh, the Minister of State for Children and Youth Affairs, Mr. Balam Barugahara, has made a heartfelt appeal to President Museveni to pardon the 16 National Unity Platform supporters. Uh, these individuals were sentenced to three months and 22 days by the court martial for unlawfully possessing explosive devices. And uh, considering that they pleaded guilty, horrible minister Balam Barugahara expressed gratitude to the court martial for not imposing a harsher sentence. Balam Barugahara has also sent a letter to President Museveni requesting a pardon for the 16 NUP supporters. Well, he believes they should not serve the remaining three months of their sentence. These young people pleaded guilty. When you plead guilty, you save court time and you save government time. Every time you stay on remand, you are costing government 5,000 shillings to 10,000 shillings every day. These young no people have been in sales. Each of them has costed the government cost 20 million shillings on food. Food alone, and yet they are consuming also space. So my appeal to to the president as a minister of young people i request you excellence you consider the letter that i forwarded to you today of using the powers entrusted upon you by the constitution to to pardon these young people even they should not serve the three months now this case raises questions about the intersection of politics justice and mercy the nup supporters conviction and sentencing have sparked concerns about the government's tests on opposition groups. And by the way, the minister's appeal may be seen as an attempt to balance justice and compassion. I don't know what you make over this story, but the comment section is very open for you. My name is Amelad Milo, aka Fuller. Don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. You can also follow me on TikTok, Amelad Milo, aka Fuller. Bye for now. Thank you. Are you tired of dirty laundry piling up? Look no farther than Fuller's Laundry Chirinho. Our expert staff use eco-friendly detergents to wash, dry, and fold your clothes with care. From dry cleaning to alterations, we've got you covered. We offer pickup and delivery services for your convenience. Call or WhatsApp us today on... 0789-327937 or 0753-355817. Fuller's Laundry Chirinya. Cleaning your clothes, clearing your mind. Ooh la la.